Good morning and welcome to NYNJPA Weather, your weather source for the northern mid-Atlantic. I'm your meteorologist, Stephen DiMartino, and we've had more snow again, and there's more to come. Let's take a look at the latest forecast. So here's our latest uh, surface map as of 8 a.m., and you can see our powerful winter storm is pulling off into the Atlantic. Snowfall ranged anywhere from about two inches around Cape May, New Jersey, to oh, over a foot easily throughout New York City and Connecticut. You know, snow mounts 16 inches, 19 inches. Clearly, this winter storm was poorly handled by the model guy, and so I'm going to discuss that in a moment for the future of this forecast leading into next week. But uh, we're not done with the snow just yet. There are several disturbances still moving through the Great Lakes, and they will be moving through the northern Atlantic over the next several days, and they will produce a threat for light snow uh, and potentially some moderate snow as we move forward into this weekend. Let's take a look at the radar. As you can see, there are several snow showers. Now, most of this is lake effect snow. However, notice some of the heavier snow that's moving towards the Hudson Valley. This is the result of some mid-level disturbances and they are moving towards the northern Atlantic and especially over eastern Pennsylvania and uh, portions of northwest New Jersey later on this morning and they will have the potential of producing some light snowfall. Again anywhere from one to three inches. The key thing to remember here is that unlike the snow from last night the temperatures are much colder so the snow ratios are a bit higher and this snow is more of the dry snow type variety. Overall though it looks like uh, we are not going to be done with the snow anytime soon nor these cold temperatures. When we look at the water vapor satellite picture I think you can clearly see what I'm talking about. As you can see our powerful winter storm is pulling off into the Canadian Maritimes. Now notice the highlighted area over these over central Pennsylvania down through Virginia. That's moisture from the Great Lakes moving up along the Appalachia Mountains. And so a few scattered snow showers would definitely be possible over the Poconos of uh, northeastern Pennsylvania. Now, as you can see, there's dry air, sinking air over the Hudson Valley down through New Jersey. That is substance behind this storm. That's not gonna last all day though, as, as the storm moves east, so will the sinking air. And as a result, the potential for scattered snow showers will return once again for the entire northern Mid-Atlantic later on this afternoon through this evening. Again, nothing heavy, but there's clearly a potential for an inch or two of snow at any location with these snow showers. Now, further to the west, we have one disturbance that is moving through around Chicago, another one that's over the northern plains, and a third one a little bit off the satellite picture here uh, over northwestern Canada. All these disturbances are rotating around a powerful polar vortex over uh, southeastern Canada, and they will move towards the northern Atlantic this weekend. Now, each one of these disturbances on their own are going to be relatively weak, but because of this powerful storm moving into the Canadian Maritimes, the pattern slows down a little bit, and any one of these disturbances has the potential to produce a moderate snowfall at any time uh, this weekend. So we're going to have to keep an eye on that. These clippers can surprise you with a quick three to six inch snowfall along the New Jersey coast, parts of Long Island, even in New York City Metro, uh, without much notice. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. Well, what about the rest of the forecast? How about next week? Well, the model guidance has me a little concerned, and I'll show you why. Now, on the European model guidance, look how energetic this disturbance is. The blue are the Arctic disturbances, and the yellow are the polar slash subtropical disturbances that are diving through the country. Now, Right now, I think that the European model guidance is a little bit off and it's a typical error when you have disturbances diving down through the southwest. My concern here is that these disturbances are not being handled correctly and any one of these could phase into a powerful winter storm. So we're definitely going to have to keep an eye on this pattern going forward into early next week. Now, this particular one from the Penn State E-Wall is for Tuesday night. If that disturbance over Texas phases with the disturbance that is moving through uh, central Canada on Tuesday night, and they interact on Wednesday morning, watch out, that is going to be a major winter storm then. We have to keep an eye exactly how fast each one of these disturbances are, and also whether they completely phase or partially phase or don't phase at all. 
So clearly we are in a very active winter pattern with plenty of cold air. Notice where this ridge is located. It's located shooting up into the Arctic, which means cold air is coming down into the plains and through the northeast and mid-Atlantic. So this winter pattern is not ending anytime soon, and it looks like it's one that has a potential for plenty of winter storms. Thank you for trusting in NYNJPA weather for your weather source for the northern Atlantic. I'm your meteorologist, Stephen DiMartino. Stay safe out there because with the snow, there's also plenty of ice, so just drive carefully. Have a great day.